Hi, my name is Corinne Jurgens, and I am the chair of the writing committee for our heart failure management and skilled nursing facilities. I am pleased to announce the publication of this paper today. And I would also like to acknowledge my co-chairs, Dr. Sarah Goodwin and Dr. Mary Delansky, along with our 18 co-authors that represent all disciplines related to management of heart failure. This paper is an important addition to our uh, scientific statements in that it addresses the needs that are unique in this population. Quite often, the evidence that we have in our heart failure guidelines was conducted on patients that are very different than what you see in skilled nursing facilities. These patients are often among the oldest old and they require unique uh, monitoring in order to assess them um, in light of things like cognitive dysfunction and functional disability. This paper covers a broad range of heart failure management needs. It ranges from the medical management to nursing to end of life care and management of devices. We also have a section on exercise and importantly we have uh, a section on the outcome measures necessary to evaluate the quality of care. One of the unique um, aspects of this paper is on device management. So we recommend that every nursing home or skilled nursing facility have access to a magnet so that the patient does not uh, receive unwarranted shocks or require transfer to a hospital for deactivation. This is an important paper that meets the mission of the American Heart Association to improve care of our patients with heart failure and skilled nursing facilities. It addresses a lot of um, expert opinion because of the lack of evidence for this population, and we believe that it is going to assist facilities and their clinicians to improve care.